What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. Today we're here to talk about how to create and manage virtual desk on Chromebook. Virtual Desk is a nice feature on Chromebook that helps with organization and access. For those of you new to the channel, I'll be doing this tutorial on the Google Pixelbook Go, which is a Chromebook made by Google. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk about how to create a virtual desk. Now here I am on my main desk and you can see I have quite a few windows open. Now it's hard to tell what exactly is going on because I have so many windows open and we can actually zoom out and get a better view of everything just by tapping on the windows key. Now as you can see this zooms everything out and this gives us a better idea of everything that's going on. Now in the top right hand corner we're going to have this icon labeled plus new desk. Now if we go ahead and click on this it's going to add a second desk and if we keep repeating the process we'll keep adding more desk until we reach a maximum of four. Now you can see when we reach four desk, that plus new desk icon grays out. Now let's talk about how to drag windows to a new desk. We'll start by pressing that windows key again. Again, this brings up all our available windows. We can then go ahead and click on a window and drag it to the desk we would like to. And then simply dropping it in there brings it to that new desk. Now Google says you can also rename desk. Now this is something that I haven't had much luck with, but if you've been able to do so, let me know in the comments below. Now ideally this is done by clicking that Windows key again and bringing up all your desks. And then if you click on a desk name, you should be able to rename it. But as you can see, when I click on a desk name, it just brings me back into the desk. Now we can also close any of these desks fairly easy. Again, we're gonna tap on that Windows key and that's gonna bring up all our desks. Then we'll hover over the desk we wish to close. You'll see that we have an X on the desk itself and we can click on that, that closes the desk. So you may be wondering what happens to all the windows that were open on all the different desks if we close all the desks. Do they just disappear? Actually, all the different windows default to the original desk. Now this is very nice because if you accidentally close any of these desks, you're not gonna lose all your windows. So let's go ahead and try this out. We have desk three, there's nothing on there. We're gonna go ahead and hit close. And then we're gonna have desk two. We're gonna hover over that. Again, we're gonna get that X. Now on desk two, you can see we have just the two windows open. It actually counts them as one. This is all of Google Play Music. So again, we're gonna hit that Windows key. We're gonna zoom out. We're gonna hit that X and it should bring everything back to desk one. So if we open up desk one here, you're gonna see we have Google Play Music. It actually defaulted back to desk one. Now, if you're looking for more information on virtual desk for Chromebook, I went ahead and provided the link in the description below. So final thoughts. Virtual desk is a nice organization feature on Chromebook that's easy to use. Have you tried this feature? Do you think you will? Let us know in the comments below. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon store for link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The next way you support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you support the channel is just by clicking that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. If new viewers see lots of likes and subscribers, they're gonna think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.